when I was younger, I wanted to fit in. And I forget when it started, maybe high school, maybe a bit of middle school, maybe. But <clears throat> I think mainly in high school, there were some people who were very concerned about how you are dressed. And if you did not dress a certain way, some people would tease you. Imagine that. So I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be, I guess, cool. <laughs> so I got tired of being teased by the way I dressed. So I bugged my mother, you know, to pretty much bug my, or to inform my dad that I wanted like name brand clothes. Like clothes <laughs> that are not really worth the money. Like, I guess if you want to, that is your choice. But what point is there to buy $50 jeans and $50 shirts? You know, I am not rich. My family was never rich, as in my intermediate family. So why am I buying... Or why am I getting my parents to buy me, like, expensive clothes? Like $30 jeans, and that may not be expensive to you because you probably make quite a bit of money. But buying stuff that I no longer have. And even when... I had those clothes, guess what? I would still get teased about something. So <laughs> no matter what, I believe there was a segment of people or someone who did not accept me. I was talking to a woman and she pretty much told me in so many words that she was influenced to dress in a very revealing way. I guess I can say in a very seductive way. Like she was influenced to dress in that type of way. Before, I don't think she had influence in that. So she got influenced and dressing in that way to where I believe it became normal to her. And I believe too, it brought her problems. Myself, I did things I probably wouldn't have done. But because I wanted to be with certain people I wanted to be accepted. I did some things I should not have done. I acted in ways I should not have done because I wanted, I guess, in a sense, attention, attention, acceptance, or whatever else. I hope this is making sense. How many of us are dressing in a certain way, are behaving in a particular way to be accepted. Huh? Now, I dress the way I want to. You know, I like to wear sweatpants, 
hoodies. <laughs> sometimes I don't like to shave. You know, sometimes I may wear clothes to stores with holes in them. Sometimes I may wear the boots I wear to mow the lawn. I may wear that to stores. Like, why are we living a life that we are not really comfortable with? Like, I think many of, many of us are living a life not that what we really want, but something someone thinks you should do. Now, in some categories, you know, I think it is normal to do certain things, whatever else like that. But I believe many of us are being controlled like a puppet. You may not like doing something, but you do it because you want to fit in. You may be doing drugs, but you may not really like it, but you do it probably to fit in. You know, with um, drinking alcohol, I dislike beer. Beer is disgusting. I taste it. Some beer and almost every beer is nasty. I drank liquor and almost every liquor I had is nasty. Now I tasted wine coolers. I, you know, I kind of liked that back in the past, but liquor and, and beer, disgusting. But I believe one of the reasons I was drinking Getting drunk, like getting drunk is the most horrible thing or it ranks up there, I would say, or close up there. In my opinion, I really dislike getting drunk back then. Like made me, I remember one time maybe more than one time, but a particular time, I drank so much to where when I woke up, it took me like hours to actually move. Like I wanted to move, but as it seemed like it would take so much strength to even budge, that was horrible. I believe many of us are doing things we should not do because we are looking for acceptance. Listen now, we should care less about acceptance. I was speaking to a woman and um, she thought that she need to wear weave, you know, uh, black woman. She thought she needs to wear weave and spend her money or spend someone's money to buy weave and put on makeup and, and do this stuff right here. And, and, and I pretty much told her why. Like, why do you want to put in here? Now, if you want to do it, that is your choice. But... Please listen to what I am saying. I pretty much told her more than one time, why do you want to put fake hair into your head? Why do you want to put glue on your head that I guess in some cases messes up your real hair to put in fake hair? Why do you want to put on makeup to cover the natural way you look? Like, what's wrong? Acceptance. 
you doing all these things. And I believe when it comes down to like, do you really accept yourself? You covering your natural hair. You covering pretty much the natural way you look. Do you hate yourself? And I believe it took her a while to really get comfortable with the way she really looks. Just because so many black women, not saying there is anything wrong with we per se, I guess in some cases, there probably is, but if you want to do it, I guess it is your choice. But just because many black women put weave in their hair doesn't mean that you need to do it. Well, Kevin, they may tease me. They may mock me. You know, I spoke to a other black woman about this and she kind of said the same thing that if she doesn't put in weave that she will get teased about her hair or people may talk down to her about it. Who cares? Who cares? I remember I was going to court for something I should not have went to court for. And I guess in court, you know, they want you to dress, you know, real nice and stuff. I mean, like in like a suit or some dress pants. But I was thinking, I am being, you know, I have to go to court for something I should not. So why would I waste money in buying this or buying that? No, I'm coming to court you know, as I am. So I went, so I was going to court in sweatpants and like old sweatpants, you know, and, you know, like stuff you would probably wear to clean your yard. That is kind of how I was going to court. I did not care. You know, my lawyer told me I should dress more nice. For what? And that case got dismissed. So, I believe much of the things that we are peer pressured in is something that really doesn't benefit us. I got peer pressured to do bad things and from there, I believe I got worse kind of on my own. Now, I believe I rarely succumb, if I am saying that right, to peer pressure. And guess what? I am much happier. Look, if someone is not willing to accept you for how you are, so what? Leave them alone. Find people with similar interests. Just because you think this person is very popular in this organization doesn't mean you have to be around them. Why should I try to be with someone who will only accept me if I follow their criteria as if like, like I have to dress a certain way. I have to approach them a certain way. I have to be a certain way. Why would I have to do all that to become someone's friend or whatever else? Why do I have to lower my morals to be around certain people? Why? Why? If you see me as a nerd, okay, fine. I am a nerd. I am a dork. So let me find other nerds, other dorks to be around. What's wrong with that? Usually, in my opinion, the popular crowd is usually the most immoral crowd 
or the most superficial crowd. You perceive them as very popular, but those people may be even insecure. Man, please listen to what I am saying. You don't have to give in to peer pressure. Look, this is, you know, as long as I am not sinning, this is the way I am. Accept me for who I am. If you don't, then go on your way. Then leave me alone. I don't want to have to change the way I dress, change the way I look, change my behavior to be accepted by a large amount of people. If you don't like me, stay away. Why can't we be that way? It seems like many of us are so false and fake doing things what we believe most people expect of us. So we act fake and false to fit in. Let's stop that, man. I hope this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.